All right, guys, I'm here hanging out with one of my favorites. This is the PC Power and Cooling Turbo Cool 850 watt power supply. This is the one I have on my system at home. I love this power supply. This thing is sick, it's awesome. Check it out. You get a report, a certifiable test that your power supply was tested in the box with it. Look at that, I even know who did it. Maria inspected this power supply. That is so cool. Thank you, Maria, you did a great job. I'm glad to see that it passed. It took uh, two minutes and three seconds to test it and all the results are on here. Everything, two pages of results of stuff that I don't even understand, it's awesome. This is probably one of the most reliable power supplies on the market, it's one of the most high-end ones you can get on the market. Single 12 volt rail on here. So, very powerful, uh, 64 continuous amps. That's insane on one 12 volt rail, very powerful, 930 watt peak at 50 degrees Celsius, 860 watts continuous. So, PC Power and Cooling, you know the brand, they're awesome, they spend their money on, they spend their money on their engineering and not on their marketing because this box is nothing to, nothing to look at, but I'll tell you what, this is, check it out, you've seen those 850 and 1000 watt and 1300 watt power supplies and even the smaller 750s and 650s, you know how big they are, right? Look how small this one is. It's a little tiny box, it's pretty cool. That just shows you the engineering that's going in here, how they're cramming everything in there, but still keeping it cool and still keeping it quiet. Now, this is the Turbo Cool series. You can see it right there, right? Turbo Cool. They have two series, uh, PC Power and Cooling. Actually, they have four. They have one for Dells, eh. They have one for industrial systems, eh, not necessary. And then they have two. Uh, a regular one is called the Silencer Series, and then the Turbo Cool Series, which is the high end. Now, in the, si in the Turbo Cool, there's an 860, and there's a 1200 watt version. This is the 860, and I have the 1200 over there. These are both uh, ones that you can get. There's different SKUs, but you can get one that has ESA, which is the Enthusiast System Architecture. that lets you monitor the power supply using e NVIDIA's ESA system. So if you're monitoring your video cards and your CPU and your fans, RPMs, temperatures, voltages, all that, this will pop up. In the power supply section, you'll have what's going on with the power supply, how many watts are you pulling, all that great stuff will be on here, temperatures, everything. So great, great, great product. Heavy duty hardware all around, man. Looking at this thing, the uh, all the wire looming is fantastic. It's great, you have all the connectivity you could ever want, okay? You have a single powerful rail that delivers 64 amps for plus 12 volt. Uh, heavy duty caps, inductors, heat sinks, all that stuff is awesome. Ultra tight voltage regulation, 1.5% plus or minus is all that it will vary. So that's really cool. It's a lot of volts of direct current. Uh, the other thing I wanna talk to you about is reliability. This is something, you know, if you're one of those people that loves a warranty or a guarantee or support on their products and that has to be there, you're not gonna get anything like this. Uh, as far as reliability and warranty goes, this thing has seven year warranty on it. Now, the seven year warranty doesn't mean anything if it breaks after a year and they just replace it. What's important about this is the MTBF, mean time to break failure, which is how they test you know, how long it's gonna last. 200,000 hours. So most power supplies, even the high-end ones, are about 100,000, and then the other ones are 50, 60, 70, and they usually don't even last that long. This thing actually will last 200,000 hours. This is an awesome, awesome, awesome product. Let me talk to you about a little bit about the connectivity on this thing, because uh, you got just about everything you could possibly want. Actually, you know, on this one, I'm gonna kill the loom. Hang on a second, let's, uh, let's unravel this a little bit, like uh, a girl letting go over here. Oh yeah, look at that. Check this out. Look at all this stuff we got in here. This is sweet. Start off with your power connector, 24 pin. If you have a 20 pin motherboard, you don't need this power supply and this is not modular, this is 24 pin solid, that's what it's for. Now, what else do you get on here though? What's really good is besides the eight and the four pin, or besides just the four pin connector, you get an eight pin connector. Here we go, here's your four pin 12 volt PCI, uh, I'm sorry, 12 volt uh, motherboard connector. Somewhere in this mess of cables is another one and that one, here it is, check that out. That's an eight pin motherboard connector. So you got both of your motherboard connectors for the 12 volt rail. You have eight and four, plus you have the 24 pin main connector. If you're looking at these little suckers, you have four PCI Express six pin. Now, two of those have the additional two that you can add on. That gives you the eight pin PCI Express connectors. So what's that for? That's for your GTX 280s, your 9800 GX2s, your 4870X2s, all your really high end video cards that need a lot of juice. This is for them, awesome. So you got two of eight pin, you got uh, four overall that are four pin, two of which can get converted. So you can pretty much do any SLI configuration you want. The 9800 GX2s, they have a, a, a six pin and an eight pin. You have enough to do two of those. So that's insane. You get to do every video card you want. As far as uh, hard drives go, SATAs, you get a ton of SATA connectors. You have 15 drive connectors in total, eight of which are Molex. Uh, the other six are SATA, all in the box, nice little plugs and everything. And then there is one more plug in here. I'm not gonna find it for you because I'll never find it. But actually I did find it, look at it, there it is. That's your four pin mini. That's your floppy connector. So whatever, you might use that, you might not. Flashing the bio, stuff like that, you use it occasionally. 
So this thing is sweet, sweet, sweet processor. I'm actually going to keep this one. This is going to go into one of the systems we're going to build for the. Uh, we're going to do like little system builds for you guys, like uh, how to build a $2,000 gaming system or a $1,000 or whatever. I'm definitely going to keep this. This is very high quality stuff. The price on this, definitely not budget. It's a little more expensive, but you're getting what you pay for and then some. Uh, there's no other brand out there like PC Power and Cooling that really goes the extra step to test it. I mean, this is fantastic. I've never seen this in a power supply. They test it. Uh, they're amazing. If you go look up the reviews on the internet, they're all 100% awesome company. If you have any questions on this product or any of the other PC Power and Cooling uh, PSUs I'm going to review today, go ahead and email me below. I will see you guys next time. For more information on the PC Power and Cooling Turbo Cool Series 860 watt power supply, go to CompUSA.com and type in P227-1007 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.